orbiting remote stars and delving into the complex structures of our universe, scientists aim to understand not only the distant celestial bodies scattered across the cosmos but also the fundamental role we play within this grand design. In a recent initiative driven by a pursuit of knowledge and curiosity, researchers directed the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA's most advanced observatory, to focus on a particular star located at a staggering distance of 120 light-years from our solar system. This decision, grounded in both scientific strategy and intrigue, set the stage for a remarkable discovery. This time, the supertelescope has unveiled compelling evidence pointing to the existence of carbon-based molecules in the atmosphere of what appears to be a potential ocean world, a discovery not on Earth, but on a planet orbiting a distant star. This astonishing revelation has sent ripples through the astronomical community, leaving scientists baffled and deeply curious about its implications. How is such a surprising and groundbreaking revelation possible in our time? This finding offers a fascinating glimpse into a planet that not only differs significantly from any known within our own solar system, but also challenges existing assumptions about planetary formation and habitability. It raises thought-provoking questions about the possibility of potentially habitable worlds hidden in the distant corners of our vast and mysterious universe. Join us on this intellectual journey as we unravel the intricate details surrounding this remarkable exoplanet. If you're passionate about keeping up to date with discoveries about the cosmos and our place within it, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like this video, share it to help us reach a broader audience, and activate the notification bell so you never miss a moment of exploration. Now, let's delve deeper into what the James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered about this extraordinary celestial body. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, known for its unparalleled sensitivity and ability to peer deeper into the cosmos than any of its predecessors, has made a highly relevant discovery regarding an exoplanet designated k 2 18 b This remarkable world, which boasts a mass 8.6 times that of Earth, has captured the scientific community's attention due to what was found within its atmosphere. Specifically, the telescope identified the presence of critical carbon-based compounds such as methane and carbon dioxide, molecules that, on Earth, are often associated with biological processes and are considered potential biomarkers in the search for extraterrestrial life. This detection builds upon prior research and lends strong support to the theory that K2-18b may be a planet with conditions conducive to life. It appears to host a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and an ocean-covered surface, traits that echo some of Earth's own life-supporting features. The first exploration into the atmospheric properties of this planet, located in the habitable zone of its star, was originally conducted using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. These early observations significantly transformed our understanding of the K2-18 system and laid the foundation for further investigation. Importantly, this exoplanet is situated about 120 light-years away from Earth, nestled within the constellation Leo. It orbits a cool dwarf star known as K2-18, a type of red dwarf that emits less radiation than our Sun. Remarkably, this host star lies within the habitable zone a critical region where temperatures are just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface, given suitable atmospheric conditions. This makes k 2 18 be an especially intriguing target for astronomers searching for life beyond Earth. Exoplanets like k 2 18 b which fall into a category between the sizes of Earth and Neptune, are rare in our own solar system. In fact, the absence of similarly sized planets nearby underscores the uniqueness of this class. The possibility that K2-18b may harbor a significant abundance of carbon-based molecules within a hydrogen-rich atmosphere is particularly tantalizing. Many astronomers now believe that these types of exoplanets might offer ideal environments to search for signs of life. The detection of methane and carbon dioxide, paired with a noticeable absence of ammonia, adds weight to the theory that this exoplanet might indeed have an ocean beneath its thick atmosphere. This ocean, if confirmed, could provide a stable environment potentially suitable for life to thrive. Even more intriguing are early discoveries pointing to the possible presence of a chemical known as dimethyl sulfide, DMS. On Earth, this compound is generated exclusively by living organisms, particularly by marine phytoplankton, which release DMS into the atmosphere during biological activity. The detection of this molecule in the atmosphere of K2-18b, although still tentative and in need of further verification, would be extraordinary. Most of the DMS on Earth results from microscopic life in oceans, meaning that its presence elsewhere could indicate similar biological processes. However, it's crucial to emphasize that current evidence for dimethyl sulfide in K2-18BS atmosphere is less robust than that for methane and carbon dioxide, and it requires further observational confirmation to be deemed credible. To that end, 
Further observations from the Global Telescope Network are planned to verify whether DMS is present in K2-18BS atmosphere at significant levels. An astronomer from the University of Cambridge explained that although K2-18b lies within the habitable zone and clearly contains carbon compounds, this does not automatically mean it can support life as we know it. The planet's radius, which is estimated to be 2.6 times that of Earth, implies that it likely possesses a core enveloped by a high-pressure mantle of ice, much like Neptune in our own solar system. Moreover, it is surrounded by a thinner hydrogen-rich atmosphere and, quite possibly, an ocean-covered surface. While this combination of features sounds promising, it also presents a number of challenges. There is a real possibility that the planet's ocean may be too rigid or hostile to support life as we understand it. However, researchers have succeeded in obtaining the most detailed spectrum to date of a habitable sub-Neptune. This has allowed them to definitively identify the various molecules present in its atmosphere, which is a significant achievement in itself. A researcher from Cardiff University explained that this scientific breakthrough was accomplished by analyzing the starlight from K2-18b's host star as it passed through the planet's atmosphere. K2-18b is categorized as a transiting exoplanet, meaning that its brightness temporarily dips as it moves in front of its star from our point of view. In fact, it was through this dimming effect that NASA's K2 mission initially detected the planet. The importance of this observational technique cannot be overstated. As light from the host star travels through an exoplanet's atmosphere during a transit, it carries with it subtle but detectable signals that reveal the presence of specific gases. These spectral fingerprints are then analyzed using advanced instruments, such as those aboard the James Webb Space Telescope. During such transits, only a tiny fraction of the starlight interacts with the planet's atmosphere before reaching the telescope, but even that sliver of data is incredibly rich in information. The research team now plans to conduct additional studies using the telescope's mid-infrared spectrograph. This tool will not only confirm previous findings but also offer critical new data about the climate and atmospheric conditions on K2-18b. Their ultimate goal is ambitious yet profoundly exciting, to search for definitive signs of life on potentially habitable exoplanets. Such a discovery would revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. In addition to these findings, the James Webb Space Telescope has made other notable contributions to our understanding of the universe. Astronomers have used the telescope to detect complex organic molecules, substances similar in structure to the kind of smoke or smog found in Earth's atmosphere, in a galaxy so distant that its light has taken billions of years to reach us. This observation marks the earliest known detection of complex organic molecules by humanity and has major implications for our understanding of how the building blocks of life may have formed. Personally, I find it both astonishing and unsettling that discoveries being made at the farthest reaches of the universe, actively transforming the foundational assumptions of our cosmology. This new finding is truly shocking, and here's why it matters so much. These chemicals, known as aromatic hydrocarbons, were identified in a galaxy that formed when the universe was merely 10% of its current age. On Earth, such carbon-based molecules are typically found in fossil fuels like petroleum and coal, as well as in pollutants such as smog. What makes this detection particularly captivating is that the molecules aren't simple like water, HO, or carbon dioxide, CO.